In this guide, you'll learn how to handle product variations using an element click selector. First, create an element click selector. As the selector, select the product wrapper. For the click selector, inspect the drop down element to find the option you want the scraper to click. You can do this by right clicking the element and selecting the inspect option. Here, we can see that the options are nested under the color element within individual option tags. We can preview this to confirm that we've selected the correct values. In this case, four elements are selected, including the placeholder option Select Color. If we want to exclude this, we can use the Not Contains jQuery selector to prevent the scraper from clicking on it. Now, when we preview again, only three valid options are selected. Once you've finished selecting the elements, configure the selector by setting the Click Element Uniqueness to Unique CSS Selector. Discard initial elements to discard when click element exists and reducing the click delay to one second. When you're done, click on the Save Selector button. Next, add a text selector to capture the product name. Then to capture the active color option that was clicked, go back to the element click selector and copy the selector used for the click action. Use this to create a new text selector. At this stage, all color options might be selected, not just the active one. To fix this, add the selected attribute to the selector. Keep in mind that this attribute might vary across different pages, so you may need to adjust it accordingly. Once everything is configured, go back to the root and click on the Data Preview button to test the setup. After the clicks have been executed, you'll see that the correct output has been returned. And that's it. You've now successfully set up variation handling using a drop-down click.